Hello friends and colleagues, my name is Nadav Exelman and I welcome you back to the ladder tutorial series. Today we're going to expand on the function that we created last episode uh, just to see that the ladder and our character are communicating and uh, it's this function over here, toggle and climbing, and now we're actually going to give it um, instead of just printing text on the screen functionality, it's going to actually um, make our character climb the ladder. Okay, so if I play the game now and I go on the ladder, you can see on the top left of my screen, climb on, climb off. Okay, so this is what we're going to change to actually climbing the ladder. So back in our third person character, in our function climbing, I'm going to change uh, first the true here. So if we are climbing, so if the ladder here when we are overlapping is telling this function to climbing is true okay and it goes here first what we're going to do is we're going to grab this character movement component so with every character uh, blueprint class that we are creating and this third person character that we get with the project is also uh, a third uh, it's, it's also a character class here you can see on the right so whenever we are creating this kind of a class, uh, we are getting this component um, inherited inside the blueprint, this character movement. And this character movement component actually has a lot of control of how our character is moving, walking, jumping, swimming, flying. You can see all the data here on the right. And you can change it. It's maximum walk speed, fly speed, whatever speed. And of course, there's many, many functions um, built in inside this component that we can use. And one of them is the function uh, change movement mode. So out of my character component, I'm just dragging out and I'm typing uh, movement mode, movement mode, set movement mode. And you see this gives me here um, choice between uh, a few um, choices here. To change the movement mode from none to walking to falling to swimming to flying and custom and everything here changes the way our character behaves the default is walking okay when we start the game it's set to walking we are going to change it to flying because in this mode whenever we input uh, first of all we are canceling gravity and second we're going to make uh, our character change um, the direction in which it um, applies force uh, movement force instead of forward to upwards okay and this way it's going to climb instead of going straight so first let's just see what happens if i'm changing this to flying okay whenever we are climbing and if we are not climbing anymore i'm going to change it back to just copy pasting here i'm going to change it to walking let's see what happens when i compile and play so i'm not sure you can see this but there's there's a small um, change. My, my character is like slowing down. Something is changing, but my character is not going up. Okay, so the reason is, as I told you, is because we are applying the force, the walking force, uh, the movement force. Still, we are applying it forward to this direction, the red arrow direction. If you look in our third person character blueprint and you go to the event graph, and you look at all the code that uh, Epic has pre-made for us, and you scroll inside the input axis move forward. Uh, you look if you look here, you see it's getting it's getting the control rotation and it's getting the forward vector for the add movement input. And we want to change this whenever we are climbing to um, not get forward vector to get up vector because we want to change the force to be going on the z direction. Okay, we want a character to move up. So in order to do that, I'm going to just clean here a few things. First of all, I want to separate this because um, the code here is uh, bunched up together. So just separating the, the move right and move left and uh, move forward. So I'm just taking um, this. Uh, actually, let's go like this. Move this here. Okay, instead of splitting the same node, I'm just creating another one just to separate them, because I'm only going to change uh, the move forward. And 
here we're going to do some sort of a condition that checks that uh, if we're climbing or not. And if we're climbing, it's going to change it from movement, even from going forward to going upwards. So I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it, it's going to be a Boolean. Okay. And I'm going to call it is climbing. Okay. And here I'm going to write the condition. So I'm just holding B, left clicking, dragging is climbing, connecting it here. And what we're doing here now is if we are climbing, if we are not climbing, we want to do the same um, behavior, right? So keep the same behavior, applying the force forward like that. Let's keep a small room here. But if we are climbing, okay, you want to take the same um, code here that gets the control rotation, copy paste it here and just change here from out of the make rotator. Instead of getting the forward vector of our rotator, we want to get, excuse me, we want to get, well, I'm typing get up vector. We're getting the up vector of our, of our rotator. Okay. And we're going to copy the add movement input node here, same as we got down here, but we're plugging our new code here, connecting true. And of course, not forgetting inputting the scale value. Okay, let's give ourselves some room here so it's, it will be more readable, like so. Okay, so what we've done here is just checking if we are climbing, if false, just apply the force uh, of the movement to the forward vector. And if we are climbing, if it's true, okay, we are applying the movement input in our up vector. Last thing we need to do is going to the toggle climbing function again and set our variable, right? So whenever, actually I can do it even before the branching here, I can just grab this as a setter. I'm holding Alt and releasing. Set climbing, I can also just do this, and leave it here and choose set. And I'm just connecting it like so. And we are just passing on the information through our uh, whatever is calling this function, in, in our case it's the ladder, it's calling the function, is climbing. So it's going to our character here, and it's setting this variable is climbing to true. And then it's checking uh, all the code and uh, does what it needs to do. Let's see if it works. Great. So now you see, whenever I am approaching the ladder and walking, I'm actually changing my movement to climbing. Okay, and whenever I get off the ladder, I'm going back to walking. But you see we have a small problem here, that our character is turning uh, its back to the ladder. And the reason this is happening is because, again, if we look in our character movement uh, component, uh, if we're uh, scrolling here to the right, one of the characteristics, one of the, um, let's say, the um, properties here that we can uh, change if we scroll down to uh, rotation, the character movement rotation setting here, you see we have use control desired rotation and orient rotation to movement. So because this is on, actually this function here, it's keeping um, the rotation um, to the movement direction. And this is confusing our uh, controller. So we need to, uh, set this off actually whenever we are climbing a ladder. So let's do that. It's extremely simple. I'm gonna again take my character movement and I'm just gonna write here um, set rotation. Sorry, let's see again. Orient rotation to movement. Orient rotation to movement. Set orient rotation to movement. Okay, so whenever we are climbing, we are taking this off. And whenever we stop climbing, we take it on. Let's check again. Perfecto. So now our character is climbing. It's not rotating. And when we go back to the ground, again, we have our control, uh, our normal camera control again. Okay, so everything uh, is working. Um, 
we still have a few problems, of course, we need to fix. Uh, we need to fix the animations, uh, we need to fix the distance. But first thing, next chapter, uh, I want to fix um, this behavior. That if I approach the letter from, from an angle, as you see here, my character keeps the uh, incoming angle and it doesn't snap to the letter, not in position and not in rotation. And I want to fix it. I want whenever my character is touching this overlap box and starts climbing, it's going to snap quickly to here, to the center of the letter and facing the letter. So we cannot uh, actually um, approach it in an angle. It will always be straight to the letter. That's it for now, friends and colleagues. Thank you very much for joining in and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated. Cheers!